Hello and welcome to this service of night prayer. Today is Sunday the 21st of June and this is Ray Scarrett here and this service is coming from my home. So let's just sit comfort comfortably and quietly and focus our thoughts on God. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Cast your cares on the Lord, and he will sustain you. Let's just sit in silence for a moment and reflect on the past day. Bring to mind all you've said, done and thought, for good or ill, and all those you've met or encountered, and rest in God's presence. So we say together, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. As it's Sunday, we're going to say together a psalm, and it's Psalm 4. Answer me when I call, O God of my righteousness. You set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy on me, and hear my prayer. How long will you nobles dishonour my glory? How long will you love vain things and seek after falsehood? But know that the Lord has shown me his marvellous kindness. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There are many that say, who will show us any good? Lord, lift up the light of your countenance upon us. You have put gladness in my heart, more than when their corn and wine and oil increase. In peace I will lie down and sleep. For it is you, Lord, only who make me dwell in safety. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. For the reading today, we've got a verse from Jeremiah. You, O Lord, are in the midst of us, and we are called by your name. Leave us not, O Lord our God. We're going to have a time of silent prayer now for about a minute. So thank God for his presence and patience with you throughout the day. If anyone or anything is troubling you, tell God about the situation. Ask him to help you to trust him and release you from the burden of anxiety. And this period of silent prayer will end with a collect.
prayer for today, the second Sunday after Trinity. Faithful Creator, whose mercy never fails, deepen our faithfulness to you and to your living word, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. From our prayer calendar today, we pray for the Price family. That's Ash and Matt, Elsie and Emily. May they know God's blessing, his presence and his peace this night. And then we say together the church family prayer. This is our prayer. Come Holy Spirit and make us one in heart and action so that we can serve God faithfully, abounding in love, maturing in holiness and seeking out the lost. Help us grow as disciples of Jesus in commitment, in depth and in number that we may be a blessing to Amington to the glory and praise of God the Father. Amen. And the night prayer. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen.